my first visit to, to Central Java, and of course here. Oh, okay. Okay. is it your first time? Yes, <laughs> I only went to Jogjakarta about uh, oh, yeah, yeah, a few yeah. months ago. Uh -huh. But um, Central Java was a little more difficult with the pandemic. Um, I think you're, it's getting better now mm -hmm. uh, with the vaccination uh, regarding um, the uh, education cooperation. Mm -hmm. um, we do not have exchange of education with your province at the moment. And Austria is very strong in education, exchange of professors, and we have a cooperation with different universities. Mm -hmm. So I was hoping maybe also your education department could um, we can send some information to see if we can continue cooperation um, on this level. It's the possibility of students going to Austria yeah. from the University of um, Nigoro, I think. It's yeah, the university here. Well, but, uh, um, could go to Austria for studies of master or doctorate degree, mm -hmm. for example. And um, we have an exchange program that is always uh, very successful. And that could option could be an interesting option also for your region because it's something which we try to support, we try to um, continue this cooperation um, and expand it. We we are very strong already. Honorary Consul Suki knows in Jogjakarta very strong cooperation already. And I thought maybe we could um, expand also to you to you, to the city from Central Java. We can send some of the teacher also maybe. I can invite your uh, expert from Australia to send my data. Come here and, yes. and develop and the uh, something like uh, training for trainers. Yes, exactly. Which, which is the best one? <laughs> the best one, what we do first, is normally that they come here and they build up the vocational training center, mm -hmm. uh, teach them, and after that there's exchange possible. Ah. First they build it up here to improve the, uh, the quality of the workforce and the, uh, the quality of education. Okay. Maybe my staff can uh, follow yes. your staff. Yes. And then you can uh, decide about the technical trainers, yeah. for the teacher and some of the students. And then after this, you can send some of the uh, student or teacher go to the Australia. Uh -huh. And then we come back and uh, develop uh, a new system, I think, for the, uh, some of school uh -huh. in uh, Central Java. Yep. So I want to learn from their experiences in Australia. The relation between the school and industry. Exactly. I hear, I, I, I hear yes. from Austria and uh, yeah. German uh, that you have a, what you call a We call it a, a, a dual education system. Dual education system, and you have uh, something like a teaching industry. Something like this? Yes, we, we combine uh, 15, 16 year old oh. um, teenagers who learn, for example, who learn mechanics, uh -huh. yeah, for example. Uh -huh. At the same time, they are also educated uh, for, um, for graduation and they can continue university studies. And the industry is, of course, very interested in, in, in the skill mm -hmm. of mechanics, for example, or uh -huh. technology or, or IT, whatever it is. And that's why the industry supports the school. These, these people who finish the school are then asked by the industry, of course, work again in the same industry okay. so we start very early with this dual mm -hmm. education system not only one track but it's two track so it's a very good combination mm -hmm.